I'm just happy for our fans. You know, I mean, the, the, the timing of the change and in the way they did business, you know, by, by allowing teams to host the top 16 seeds, you know, coincided with our ability to uh, have a team capable of achieving that. And so, so proud of these players, you know, for all their hard work and earning that. And so happy for our fans that uh, they're going to get to see, you know, at least one and hopefully two more games. Uh, last, last question. What's it like just to be a part of this and to have this going on here? Oh, it's, it's, I mean, it's incredible. You know, uh, the turnout, you know, I wish we could take that wall down so we could see everybody, you know, but so many people here, it's such great energy. And, you know, it's a great time to be a Beaver for lots of reasons, uh, you know, but uh, we hope to be doing our part as women's basketball to, uh, to make people proud. I started to get nervous a little bit just waiting, uh, the anticipation, the excitement, uh, thinking about all the work we put in up to this point, you know, the coaching staff, the team, everybody. And uh, once our name was called, uh, pure joy. I mean, it's amazing, especially to get a home court advantage, you know, Beaver Nation behind us. I mean, there's nothing better we can ask for and then um, hopefully making it to the Sweet 16 and then playing in Spokane, that's still like a big home court advantage. So hoping to see a, a Beaver Nation out there on Friday. Um, I just love the environment today. I'm excited about the matchup, excited about we get to play at home and in Spokane, so hopefully we can make a run. It's very exciting. Um, I can't wait to have that home court advantage. This is the most wonderful time of the year to make a run, to make our statement of who we are. Uh, I think it's great. from that area so uh, I don't know if I know anyone on the team but I know that they're going to work hard uh, Midwest work ethic and uh, it's going to be a g good game we're excited to be playing here in front of our fans though you know it's NCAA dance time so any game is going to be a good game we're excited to be in it again well I, I know they're a heck of a team you know I, they've uh, they've talked about scheduling us a few times but it it required a trip out there and I wasn't real interested in that you know but I have a lot of respect for that program and what they've done and uh anxious to watch them. I don't know much about South Dakota State, but I'm sure we're going to learn a lot. Obviously, they made the tournament, so they're a great team, so we'll see what we can do. Um, I want to say on behalf of the team and all of us on staff, uh, thank you for being here today. Let's just keep doing this every year. Huh? <laughs> yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is so fun. Um, we want to say thank you to all of you for what you've done for us this year, this journey. It's a crazy one. Marianne alluded to uh, the record crowds. I mean, we had over 58,000 people come to Gill this year to watch this team. This team, uh, this team has a chip on the shoulder. We're going to go over. So, go be.